What product is the biggest scam, but people like it anyway? Friggin printer ink cartridges. What a racket. Especially new printers that don't work if you use third party inks, and that none will even print in black if any of the color ink is low out. Car dealerships. $200 upcharge on a brand new car for nitrogen in the tires? They have no shame. Herbalife, they must have done something special to manage to sell it to a lot of people. I'm sure I read once that pre made cinema popcorn has one of the biggest price markups of any product in the world. They buy massive sacks that cost pennies and then charge a fortune for it. Anything by Gwyneth Paltrow? Paying for three different insurances, health, vision, and dental, when last time I checked the last two are part of your body therefore should fall under one, health insurance. Copperfit products. Time shares. Edit the number of suckers in the comments trying to explain why actually the one they bought is not a scam is hilarious. Alkaline water. Influencers on social media. Many promote a product for the money, and then don't mention the item ever again. Some even backtrack months years later stating they don't like the product, yet still promoted it to young people on limited budgets. Anything purporting to cleanse your body. As long as you've got a functioning liver and kidneys, you're already cleansing toxins from your body. I feel like streaming platforms are starting to swing into scam territory by baiting everyone into joining with no ads and a low price. Then, raising the prices and bringing back ads. Having to pay a fucking subscription to use your heated seats. Phone internet bills, I live in Canada the amount of money I pay for my phone, and the internet is eye-watering compared to our neighbors in the south or the rest of the world. Scammed by our own government and their telecom overlords. Home warranty insurance on appliances. You spend upwards of $1.2k a year so that you don't have to buy a new $800 washer or $1,200 fridge outright if they go out. Just put the payment away for an appliance fund and you come out ahead 9 times out of 10. Minor textbook upgrades that the colleges require students to pay hundreds for to pass the class. Ultra-fast fashion clothes that fall apart after two uses and are infested with lead. Diamonds. Flushable wipes they're not really flushable. Spend the money on a bidet and never look back. Ancestry DNA. They should be paying us for the data. Anway. It's a Ponzi scheme and if it wasn't soaked in Jesus it would have been shut down long ago. Looks at my Warhammer miniatures nervously. Essential oils. They can smell nice though. Claw machines. HOAs. NFTs. What's the point of the token being non-fungible if the actual associated digital asset still is? Healing crystals. Also, a lot of the time, the crystals are just glass. Reddit stickers and premium and whatever other goofy shit this site asks money for. Religious fees or mandatory donations. Social media influencers or celebrities promoting products. MLMs. A category luxury goods. I'm Korean American and am blown away by the label hungry consumption in both countries. Chiropractors. Go to a physical therapist, they can help you with your physical pain with the added benefit of a medical degree. Any detox stuff. That's what your kidneys and liver are for. If your body isn't getting rid of toxins properly, you need a doctor, not a tea bag. Any and I mean any MLM. People get sucked right into it. Ticketmaster. Monopolies don't have to care. Bottled water. Coffins. There's literally no point to keeping anything out. It doesn't stop the process of decomposition because most of it has to do with the bacteria that's already in your body eating you from the inside. The real decay was inside us all along. How about the fact that paying the employees at restaurants is somehow considered the customer's responsibility? Homeopathic anything. Their car's extended warranty. Warranty on furniture. 
dry balls. Popular mechanics for example experimented on the efficacy of them and found no beneficial effects. Monster Cables Expensive toothpaste claiming it makes your teeth whiter in three days. The overpriced big brand basketball fashion status symbol shoes aimed at poor people. They're plastic and made in sweatshops. U.S. college puts people in a ton of debt and is becoming less and less worth it from a pure ROI standpoint. But many still go because of the networking, partying, community, and it feels like a rite of passage versus learning a trade starting a biz. Reddit Awards Any kind of NFT. Oh and yay, Oxyfresh, Herbalife, Amway, etc. But those are way too obvious. The vitamin and supplement industry. X is 100 proven to make you fart rainbows. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA.